a quick video for reference on a Hyundai Santa Fe 2012 a transmission fluid uh, uh, fluid replacement this this is a magnetic uh, drain plug located at the bottom of the transmission you do have to remove you do have to remove the plastic cover it will save you a lot of time you have to remove the plastic cover uh, we're not going to get into that so you have to look locate you when you remove your plastic cover you locate your drain plug then they got this is a an oil leveling block that you have to remove and this is the field where you're gonna put the, the fluid back in this field plug located right underneath the the, the battery I got my long funnel there you can see it it's right there you wanna find this there that will be your field where you're gonna put the fluid back in. That's the location, you put your funnel. There, the location for this, right underneath that fuel, is a plastic cover. Uh, <clears throat> this is the oil, the plug for oil leveling. This, gonna, this plug is gonna be there. It's just a screws in there. You have to remove it. I can't see what I'm doing. It's just screws in there. Be very gentle because it's plastic. It goes in there and then you just screw it. I have to take it out because I haven't finished. That is, <clears throat> when you put your plug back, when you put your plug back, you at that time. Put it back. The oil plug is here, and you want to clean the magnet because there's some debris in there, metal debris shaving. When I'm at the point that I'm going to put this back and start refilling, that's the plug. This will be your oil level I. If you notice I didn't lift the, the car up because you want to be level when you pour in your oil. And I'm not sure but I, I heard that the right torque for this nut is 23 pounds. This is something for me, I'm not a professional doing this and just try to save money because I call the dealer and they really want a lot of money. At least for me, $200 is a lot of money. Uh, I'm doing this, this is gonna tell me more or less uh, how much oil, this is gonna tell me how much less oil I gotta put back in, even if I know I got my overflow, my overflow high level. Well, at least I know I'm gonna be close just passing three, in my case, just passing three and a half quarts, liters. So I'll be expecting, when I reach three and a half, I'll be expecting my overflow, overflow oil to, to start dropping oil. So that's what I took out, that's more or less what I'm going to put in, and checking my overflow oil. Now at this point we're ready to fuel back, I already put the fuel plug, uh, like I said, you want to leave this out and put your drip, your, your oil paint underneath the oil leveling, because as soon as the oil start coming out there, on the bottom, we got to stop filling it up. Uh, you have to do your own research and what oil 
your transmission use. I cannot tell you what to use. You gotta go to your owner's manual. Recording. Uh, as you can see, that will be the oil level. And this model looks exactly what I took out. 3 and 375. As soon as that slow down a little bit, as soon as that stream slow down, I'm gonna put the, the oil back. I'm gonna put the, the oil back and uh, my plug. Then you want to turn on your engine, warm it up, and then you not drive it, you don't drive it, you go through the chief, you go through parking to drive, reverse, you, you, you go do that back and forth several times so all your fluid goes to the proper channels. You don't want to drive it, you want to warm it up and go through your uh, gears from parking reverse, neutral, drive, up and down a couple of times. Now we're ready to fill it up. I already put the um, oil leveling plug. We're gonna, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see anything. That hole is there with fuel plug goes. You got an O-ring. You don't need to be tied. Just make sure they touch surface. I just went hand tight, and now I'm just gonna uh, just knock, just, just knock a little bit. Even by hand, you see by hand is turning. Yeah, it's, it's not, that's it. I don't want, it's plastic, it's sealed by orbing. You don't need to be killed. We're just gonna turn the car on, let it warm up, and when it's warm up, you wanna uh, go to your, don't drive it, when it's warm up, you put your brake, and you just go from parking to reverse, neutral, and drive, and you do that a couple of times, so the liquid go back in where, uh, where it should go, and with it warming up, you wanna go and check for leaks, Make sure you don't got no leaks. And uh, I feel very comfortable with what I did because I know I put exactly what it came out of the, of my transmission. I put three, just passing, just passing three and a half word. And that's exactly what I put. I don't need to, I don't feel like I need to go back and remove the oil leveling plug again. I'm just gonna go now and check for leaks.